was not expecting to really have a video for you this soon because now I didn't forget that Diane has a release tomorrow. I'm editing this the day before, but I did forget that I did videos. I thought I just did pages in my journal, but didn't record it. So I was just going to share photos of it on my Instagram tomorrow. But then I thought, you know what, I'm going to double check because I feel like I did do something on video for her release. And sure enough, I found the footage. <laughs> so here I am editing. I think it's going to be like three videos because I'm doing a, you know, one of those spreads where I cut the pages and they kind of work together. So it's like three, four pages. Two of the pages are full and two of them are cut in shape. So yeah, so this is going to be, I'd say a three part video. So I'm working in my small black dilutions journal. I am trying to get back into that one because I love that first one so much. So I am trying to get that flow back. And so far I am loving what I have. And I'm really loving the look of Diane stamps colored with Copics. Like I've never been a fan of coloring in images. You'll see me leave them black and white often. One, it's because I don't like coloring, but two, I actually do love the look of it. But for these pages that I'm sharing, all the images are colored. Now in my square black journal, those are going to be left black and white. So I am working, and I'm realizing I'm saying so a lot, <laughs> I am working with Diane's new release that came out today. And there are four new stamp sets, and they include High Tea, Fancy A Cuppa, Bake It Yourself, and Everything Stops For Tea. So all the images I will be using in the three part videos, we'll have those stamp sets. Um, I feel like there was something I was going to tell you and I can't think of it. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing really for me to tell you when it comes to coloring. And there is a lot of coloring in this video, and I think there's a fair amount in the second one as well. And I haven't edited the third one yet because I didn't realize there was going to be a third one until I grabbed my journal and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> so yeah, I've been very busy. <laughs> February is a very busy month for some reason. There seems to be a lot happening. But it's all good. It's all good stuff and it's all good happening. So I am not complaining. I just need to write things down so I know if I'm getting things done. <laughs> I'm going to play some music while this coloring is happening. If you want to skip past the coloring, you can jump to, it's almost 11 minutes, so if you skip to 10 minutes, you'll only have to put up with like 50 seconds or so of more coloring. So feel free to jump ahead if you don't like to watch coloring. I'm going to play some music so you won't miss me talking. <laughs>
so much of the coloring. There will be more later because I really struggled with this setup. It's like I knew what I wanted to do. Like I knew how I wanted it to work. But for some reason, my brain just couldn't figure it out. It's... I, I got so frustrated with this page. Like, I did it. I worked on it for a day. And, well, I don't mean like a full day. But there was one day I was working on it. And I got so much done. And I had to give up. Because I thought, you know, it was late. So I thought maybe that's why I couldn't figure it out. And then I came back to it maybe the next day. And it's like, okay, I'm not tired, <laughs> but I still can't figure this out. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it was a struggle. And I still don't think I got what it is I was exactly trying to do, but I do like how it turned out. So it's all okay. Even these pages here you see me working with and I've already started the cutting out. Yeah, this is not what, <laughs> the, it isn't what stays. Like I said, I had a heck of a time working with these pages. And it was just this one element that I wanted to do. I wanted it like... What I th what had to happen, and now that I'm about to say this out loud, I feel like I've figured it out in my brain. <laughs> of course. But I wanted it so, like, the cupcake frosting came off. Like, you turn that page, and it revealed, like, the woman's eyes up portion. And then you turn the page and like the cupcake was gone. And then you saw all the woman's face. And then you turn the page and it was just all her. So I think that's pretty much how I wanted it to go. But I didn't... <laughs> you couldn't... Like to have the cupcake frosting on one page, it meant there was nothing on the pa paper above it and nothing below it. So I would have had to cut everything away except for the small strip where the frosting was attached on the end. And I didn't really like that idea. So one way I can see it working is if I got some... Um, clear hard plastic or something like that and put those you know as pages and I did think about doing it but I really didn't want it because it doesn't look all that great so I know it could have worked but honestly I really like how the pages turned out so I'm not going to complain it was just funny, funny now, not funny then, <laughs> how much I struggled with it. I'm just happy it looks good now. And I, I can't get over how much I actually love the images colored in. Like usually when I would color them in, I hated it. I always thought I did such a horrible job. And it looks so tacky and childlike. But I think I've learned a lesson. Because one thing I would always do, I think, is why it made it look bad. I would use a lot of different colors. So I started looking at um, Miranda's. I'm going to look her up on Instagram so I can find her last name. 
I can picture her. I know her post. I know all her stuff because I love it. I'm pretty sure it's like Van something. I probably will find it and won't be able to pronounce it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Miranda Vandenbosch, maybe? But I look at her posts and her coloring is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I always, always love her posts. And then I think, let me find the other person. Hmm. Sorry for the silence. Hmm. I can't find her anymore. Oh, my dog needs in. Anyway, there's another person whose coloring I love as well. So I looked at them and I'm like, what is it that I love so much about theirs? Well, I kind of knew. I mean, their coloring was just way better than mine. But it's like, what makes it so beautiful? And I feel like the common thing I saw was that they use less colors. Like they kept with the same color theme and just used it without all the stamped images. And I think that's why I love it so much. So I started doing that with mine, with these here. Like you'll see, I pretty much use the same colors. And if I changed it, I stayed in the same color family. So while the yellow, like the yellow on the cupcake is pretty pale, but then to add more yellow, like for her, her hair, I just used like a darker yellow and added a bit of brown. So it still wasn't, you know, straying too far from the colors I was using. So I think if you do it like that, like go pinks and reds, like different shades and different shades of yellow and maybe introduced like the lightest bit of orange or something but I think that is what's making me love my colored images now it's using less colors and the Copics with the blending I mean that helps a great amount as well so anyways I thought I would share that little bit of insight just in case you're struggling with your colored images and I'm not saying you need Copics like try the same thing with colored pencils or whatever Tombows or whatever it is that you use just if you're not liking your colored images give that a try and see if it makes a difference because like I said it worked for me so I'm gonna go because this is the end of part one and I'm gonna get part two and three ready for you Talk soon. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.